Hey everyone, I just finished watching about, oh, two minutes and 55 seconds of the five minute and 27 second Sam Third Pepper kidnap murder video. And what I have a problem with is that, well, I'll show you, it's this, okay? Let me turn the sound down. And basically it's that when I started the video, YouTube ran a commercial against it. Watch this. Let me re, 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 rewind this dealie here so that you can find out what I'm talking about. So watch this. See, it starts with a commercial. It's been seen now 669,000 times and it starts with a commercial and then it has a commercial on the side. The reason why I make that point is if you make a comment, first of all, this reminds me of an ISIS video or something close to that, right? Yet, if you report on ISIS as a commentary without even showing any of the tragedy, the ability to make money off of it is blocked. And if a video is thought of as being disturbing, it's blocked, supposedly. So how come it's not being blocked in this instance? Now, Sam has over 2.2 million subscribers here. Does YouTube give a pass to certain YouTube partners? I'm a YouTube partner who have some deal we don't know about that produces several million YouTube subscribers. And I ask that because everyone knows, everyone who's involved with YouTube as a partner and has been for a long time knows that generally when a partner slash creator has a lot of subscribers, it's engineered by someone. It's not 1000% natural. I contend that YouTube favors certain creators and partners because they fit a type. They're within a certain age, a certain color, white, and they do shows and comedy and pranks like this. And I have a real problem with that. To me, YouTube should not have an inconsistent policy. If you're going to eliminate the ability to run ads against the video when the video is sensitive, that policy should be uniform and cover every creator or none. But I have a real problem with this video because not just its content, but the fact that ads are ran against it. And so I think YouTube has some explaining to do here. I mean, everyone agrees the video's bad, but hey, look, they're making money off of it. It's going to clear a million views, which will give them, what, around, roughly, um, from experience, about $1,800 by the end of the day if this rate continues.